Well, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday, the 300th episode. Yes, and it's been 300 episodes. Wow, I can't believe that. That is incredible, to be honest, to really think about it. 300 episodes of the Mystery Box Monday. Absolutely awesome. Uh, so, yes, I'd like to just quickly say thank you to absolutely everybody who has subscribed to me over the last few years. Uh, without you, obviously, I would not be here doing this every single week. And Honestly, without all your support, I would not have been able to continue this for 300 episodes. So a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody who has uh, helped me on my journey uh, to, to uh, 300 episodes. Absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you all had a fantastic week. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of good stuff here. Uh, I was going to do a, a room tour of my uh, collection, uh, but I was just, I was completely unprepared for it. So. Uh, yeah, maybe we can do that next week or possibly the week after. We'll definitely do that soon. It's about time that we actually had an update uh, for the collection. Uh, but yeah, really, really excited to bring you these things today. As you can see here, we have three Toyota MR2s. As you know, I am trying to find all four of the variations for this one. Uh, last week, we got this one. Or well, not last week, the week before, or whichever it was. Uh, we had this one here, which is the left-hand drive. I hope you can see that. The left-hand drive version with the headlights in the popped up position. Uh, what we're trying to find is the right-hand drive version. And there's also the headlights up and headlights down. So there are four versions in total, I believe, uh, for this. So yeah, we'll just pop this one up there. And we'll grab out this next one here and see what we get. Uh, these are from different stores as well, so I, they could all, all be exactly the same as that. So uh, fingers crossed that we at least get one of the different variations for this. All right, yes, we at least get the headlights down version. Oh, that is awesome. And this one here is the left-hand drive headlights down version. So now we have the two left-hand drive variations for the Toyota MR2. How awesome is that? Yes, a little bit of a scratch in the side of this car here. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's a really nice version of this casting, I will have to say. Uh, yeah, a little badging, nice champagne colored paint, six spoke wheels, uh, black bumper and front splitter section there. We'll show up the interior, uh, those details over the back there, the vented engine cover and such, little wing, and around the back there we do get all of the rear light and badging details as well so that is absolutely awesome yes very happy now to have uh just the the two left hand drive pairs all right let's cross our fingers and hope that today being the 300th episode we get the right hand drive version uh, i'll be happy with either of the up or down headlights uh i just would like to have the right hand drive version and here we go, we have the headlights down, and this is another left-hand drive version. Ah, no fair. All right, last go for this week. Uh, don't worry, I will be buying these until I complete my, uh, until I get at least one of the right-hand drive versions, uh, and then I'll stop. <laughs> Come on, right-hand drive version. We have the headlights up, and it's also another left-hand drive version. Oh, uh, well, that's unfortunate, but there we go. Oh, uh, well, at least we have two pairs. <laughs> All right, next up on the Matchbox list, we have the very cool Volkswagen Beetle 4x4. How awesome does this look? There you go, another little shot of the art there. Grab this one out. Oh, this is so cool. I'm very excited to see what this one looks like. Let's go. Oh, wow, actually, that actually looks rather nice. A Beach Patrol Rescue livery on the side there. Nice uh, white paint job with the red and blue stripes there. It looks really cool. A little bit of a, a logo on the side also. Number 24, big, huge off-road wheels with a chrome trim around the front there. And we get the little happy face. Kind of looks like a, uh, a Pokemon face in all honesty. Uh, kind of maybe a little bit like a ghost face. Maybe even a little baby Yoda face. That's so funny. <laughs> I do quite like the look of that. Uh, the extra headlights, fog lights on the front of the bull bar on the front there. 
comes with a red interior and a red engine and exhaust pipe poking out the back there uh, gray engine cage around the back there no rear tail lights or anything like that uh, but yeah uh, we do get some stuff in the back window though there we go a little first aid kit by the looks of it maybe a drink bottle in there as well or fire extinguisher possibly uh, yeah pretty cool and the same livery on the opposite side awesome all right pop that one over there uh, next up we have the 1994 Lexus LS 400 pretty cool yeah it's gonna be a black version by the looks of it uh, did, was this the same version that was in silver not too long ago uh, the same casting I mean I believe it was oh wow that actually looks quite nice uh, even the wheels those are a great choice of wheel for this as well with the hubcap and that little bit of extra chrome trim edge piece there metallic black Nice headlight details on the front there, nice badge details, grilled all done. Uh, gray front bumper, nice two-tone effect actually with that gray uh, bottom half there. Uh, left hand drive, not a bad looking interior actually. Yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, sunroof on the top there. And very nice around the back there we do get the nice Lexus badging and the lights. They're all painted up there quite nicely done as well. And the gray bumper, yeah that is actually quite nice very very nice i will have to say and i'm actually glad that they chose these wheels as opposed to some uh wheels like the ones we had on the uh mr2 because those sorts of wheels are not my favorite in all honesty um all right uh we'll go through some main lines i uh, will grab this one first uh, i know what this one is because i picked this one here up today this is the tuned uh volkswagen golf uh, there we go, little tuned Volkswagen Golf Mark 1, the blue and orange pearl set there. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, this was the only one that I found on the shelf. Well, actually, no, I do lie. Uh, there was also the tuned twin mill. Uh, there was only two or three of these, but there's about 10 of these and none of these. So, yeah, somebody has obviously gone through there and helped themselves with all of the cool cars and left all the uh <laughs> these little tuned ones yeah not to worry i would have probably wanted to buy this particular one anyway i'm not really the biggest fan of the tuned twin mill i kind of think it looks a little bit too kind of squashed there we go a little picture of it there it looks rather very cartoony but yeah uh, the volkswagen is pretty cool i will have to say pop that one up there all right let's just get these out here all right uh, we picked up the Groomobile. Um, I already have one of these in my collection. It's already uh, open. So I should have actually probably uh, dug that out for this video because I'm not going to actually open this one. And I'm just looking to see if there's any kind of variation on this at all. And it doesn't appear to be. Maybe possibly something on the side there. It might have a variation from the previous version, but it does look, uh, looks exactly the same to me. So um, yeah. There we go, the Gru Mobile from the new Minions movie. There we go. Next up we have the Porsche, or should I say the tuned Porsche 911 Turbo 3.6964. And this one's absolutely awesome. Now if you can see there, the color is like, uh, kind of like a, a plum purple kind of color, a really dark metallic plum color. And we're gonna grab this one here out because I just really have to show you the color. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that purple in there, that plum purple kind of color inside that metallic paint there. But it's absolutely awesome. Now this one comes with a blue window. Uh, has the headlights badging on the front there. A 964 turbo on the license plate. Little extra lights there. Uh, tiny, tiny little five spoke wheels. A little shot of the interior there. We can get some to focus on that. And uh, around the back there, we get that giant whale tail wing. And around the back there, we get the license plate. The Porsche is actually painted up there quite nicely on that rear section there. Badging and the twin exit exhaust there as well. And that's just absolutely awesome. I really have to say, out of all the tuned cars that they've made, this is probably one of my absolute favorites. Kind of, it's kind of the car, uh, when you see it in real life, it already looks a little bit cartoony with the, uh, the wide body and the crazy wing and such on the back there but yeah how cool is that do like that 
Uh, and there's the uh, base, just in case anybody wanted to see that. And there we go. I like that. I reckon that's really cool. Pop that one up the top there. Uh, picked up one of these uh, Mazda 787Bs. This is not the Super Treasure Hunt version, uh, but I do like this car in real life. I like this whole era of racing and such like that. So uh, yeah, we had to buy one of these to open up and here we go. Nice orange and green color combination. A little bit of white detailing in there. Headlight details, Mazda badging is such on the front there, number 55. A little shot of the interior. It's a uh, right-hand drive, awesome. Uh, well, obviously it should be because this is a Japanese race car. Uh, Aero discs on the front, and gold five spokes on the back. Uh, some more racing livery along the side there. Also onto that huge, huge wing. There's the wing on the back there as well with the Mazda written on there. And around the back there, we don't get any tail light details or anything painted up, but you can actually see extra casting marks inside there. So yeah, pretty cool. You can see where the brake lights would be on the ends just there. And uh, yeah, same livery on the opposite side there. Just absolutely love that. That's just super, super cool. Very, very happy to have that one. Awesome. All right, now we've got a whole bunch more Hot Wheels cars. So let's just start grabbing them and uh, having a look at them. Uh, the 1994 Audi event RS2 and this one has just got such a great color I had to pick this one here up uh, there we go factory fresh series there's the card art and we'll just open this one here up as well why not just to show you guys that color look at that that is so so nice uh, around the front there we get the nicely painted up headlight details Badging, grill details, all that. Extra lights in the front there. And a little bit of a uh, black front splitter. A little shot of the interior. Pretty cool wagon. And a nice chrome five spoke wheels. And around the back there, we also get all of the rear brake light details, badging and all of that there. Nicely detailed and painted up. That is super, super cool. Very, very nice looking cast in this. The only thing which gives uh, the thumbs down for it is that horrible post in the center there. Yeah. Not a fan of the horrible post. Uh, but other than that, the car itself is just super, super cool. Do quite like the look of that. And it's got a little wing on the back there as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Very nice. Next up, we have the Toyota Tacoma from the Hot Wheels Dirt Series. Very, very cool. There is the card art for that. And we're just gonna open this one here up as well. Uh, I don't think we'll open up all of the cars, but we'll open up a couple of them, I think. It is episode 300 after all, so I should actually open up a few good things. Very nice matte blue uh, paintwork. It's kind of like a powdery blue, like a, yeah, just like a sky blue, powder blue kind of color. Uh, has the engine detail work on the front there with a little scoop. Looks like you can actually open it. It doesn't open. <laughs> uh, Toyota badging on the front there, light details all painted up quite well. Very cool. Uh, muddy off-road wheels with the black five spokes in the center and the rigid race livery along the side there and some red and orange and black striping also little BF Goodrich now uh, this is a left-hand drive with a black interior uh, empty bed in the back and on the back there we actually do get the uh, Tacoma is actually embossed into the tailgate uh, plus it's also painted so that's really really cool brake lights painted up there Handle is nicely painted up and we get a little step there for the rear bumper. That's awesome. Uh, and the same livery on the opposite side. Do quite like the look of that. Yeah, a Tacoma. Very, very cool. And pop that one down there. Uh, next up, we have the 1967 Lotus Type 49, part of the Hot Wheels Race Day series. Uh, there's the card art for that. And I really, really like the look of this car. It's got the Team Lotus, it's got that uh, British Racing Green paint job with the yellow stripe. Uh, I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna open it. I'm sure I'll be able to find another one. Oh, how cool is that? Nice wheel choice as well. I like the driver inside there. It's got the goggles on and everything. Nicely chromed out engine on the back there. Oh, that's awesome. Lotus on the front there, number five, open wheeled race car. That's awesome. And then the chrome exhaust out the back there. 
That is so, so cool. That is actually um, quite, really quite nice. I'm actually really, really impressed with that. Yeah, that's going to be a, a nice little addition to go in with uh, a couple of other race cars that I have of this same era. Uh, so yeah, really happy that this has come into the main line. That's so much nicer than I was expecting. <laughs> I was actually expecting to, that to be a, like, a, feel a lot cheaper and look a lot uh, worse off out of the packaging, but I'm actually really, really impressed with that. Uh, next up, we have the Chevy Silverado from the Then and Now series. Nice metallic blue, huge double star wheels in chrome. A little bit of white panel and light blue pinstriping on the side there. A little bit of a black panel there. A little ghost Hot Wheels sticker just there. Full chrome interior. <laughs> Full chrome front grille. Black bumper. That's crazy looking. Yeah, that chrome interior is ridiculous. <laughs> and around the back there we actually get the light details uh, and the rear has a stripe on it too. Awesome. Very, very cool. And the chrome bumper on the rear. Yeah, I do have to say that was pretty nice as well. Uh, I'm not going to open that one just because I just don't feel like opening it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get through all of this as quickly as possible because I do actually have a couple of other things off to both sides uh, to show a little bit later on. Uh, next up we have the new Bugatti Bolide in yellow. So, so awesome. Very, very cool. Part of the exotic series. Uh, this was already released with a blue tempo scheme. Uh, now it has this bright yellow tempo on it as well. That's awesome. Aero discs all around. Crazy, crazy aerodynamic body kit going on. Uh, crazy looking wing. Just such an insane looking car. Very cool. And these are the headlights here, these little X's. That's awesome. A little shot of the interior there. Uh, no other headlight, uh, no other details on the front down there where the horseshoe is or the front splitter. Even that front splitter looks crazy. It's kind of hard to see all of the details on here. It's even got aerodynamics coming out through there. Even out through there, you can actually see through the casting as well. Wow. And then on the back there, we actually get the X brake lights also. Oh, that's awesome. A crazy huge diffuser there as well. Uh, the exhaust coming out the center there. Oh, that is awesome. That is super, super awesome. Uh, I really hope that they come out with some other colors of this as the base color. Uh, the black. I like the black, uh, I will admit. Uh, it always goes well with everything, but yeah, I think a few other colors uh, would look nice. That's really cool. And pop that one down there. Uh, next up, we have the 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, part of the Hot Wheels Muscle Mania series, and I absolutely love this. I hope that I can find more of this casting. Uh, Definitely, definitely want a couple more of these to go into the collection. Really, really big fan of the uh, the old school Smokey and the Bandit car. So yeah, there we go. We have the flaming chicken on the front there. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, no actual painted headlight details on there, but we do get some side detailing with these stripes down there. Red trim on those blacked out wheels. A little bit more of a firebird there as well. That's awesome. Red interior. It's got the T-tops there as well. And around the back there, we don't get any brake lights painted on there, but still, that's awesome. It's got the exhaust pipe sticking out there in chrome. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome. Although, um, why is the dry, why is the seat so far forward? That would be so uncomfortable getting in and out, opening the door all the way from back here <laughs> to get in all the way up here. But other than that, I love this. That matte black with the red and gold uh, flaming chicken on the front there. Just so, so cool. Like that one a lot. Awesome. All right. Uh, next up, we have the treasure hunt for whatever case this was that I found some cars from. And the car de Asada. Uh, where's the uh, logo? Oh, there it is. Little circle flame logo just there. Uh, very, very cool. It's got all the the toppings on the, uh, what is it? Car, car de Asada. A quesadilla? I think it's supposed to be a quesadilla. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I believe that that's possibly what it is. It even looks like it has nachos sticking out the back there. 
Uh, the card art is really cool for it, I will admit. And uh, yeah, that is the treasure hunt. Uh, there's a little circle flame logo down the bottom there, hiding away also. Uh, next up we have the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR LBWK. Yes, the Liberty Walk version of the 2000 Skyline GTR. That is super, super awesome. Comes in a primer gray color. Nice headlight details on the front there. Kind of like angry looking. <laughs> and on the back there, uh, we don't get any of the uh, painted light details, but super, super cool looking car. And tiny little gray wheels. Details on the side there, Liberty Walk badging there. And it's also got the super wide body fender flares as well. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, there's a blue version of this as well, I believe. Or was that, a, was that the tuned version? I think that might have been the tuned version of the Liberty Walk uh, car that I'm thinking of. I can't quite recall. Um, yeah, either way, uh, there's a blue Liberty Walk skyline from there as well. <laughs> I, think it is the, I think it is the tuned one. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, yes. Now we have the 1992 BMW M3. And look at this paint. It's kind of like a metallic butter yellow color. So cool. It's got the uh, M stripes on that black stripe along the side there. Gray double star wheels, blue windscreen. Uh, no headlight details on the front there, but you can see it has actually got quite a lot of detail cast into it. Uh, BMW badge and some black racing stripes. Uh, kind of hard to see inside the interior there. A little bit of black paint over the rear wing. And around the back there, we don't get any brake light details either. That's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, this could have looked really, really nice if it had the uh, front and headlight details on there. Yeah, I don't know. If anyone from Hot Wheels is actually watching this episode, consider doing that. I think this would look really benefit from having uh, headlight details or the grill details. Uh, that black stripe on the bonnet there just looks silly. That looks silly on the back there as well. And just give it the brake lights. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, part of the 90s series. All right, yeah, so, so cool. The nine, uh, the Mazda RX-7 with the uh, police livery on it. Part of the Hot Wheels first response range. Nice gold wheels. You can see the police livery on the side there. Such a cool version of this, I have to admit. Um, it's got Mazda written just on the front there as well. Uh, right hand drive, nice wing off the back there. And there's the back there, no tail lights or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, there's also the white and black version of this. And this is the black and white version. Or black with white, I should say. All right. Uh, next up, we have the Bumblebee car. Yes. Um, I did a trade for one of these. I can't remember if I actually showed you guys or not. Uh, but here we have it part of the new Transformers range. Well, not from the new movie or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. Uh, it could be from the new movie. I haven't actually seen it. Uh, very nice. Uh, but this was a second one that I'd found. Uh, so we are going to open this one up and then I can put it into my cabinet with the rest of my Transformers. That's awesome. I do quite like how it's got the chrome headlight effect going on there, part of that front bumper piece. Uh, chrome five spoke wheels and uh, not, not a very well detailed interior just a very very basic interior there now around the back there we do get brake lights little hot wheels badge and that chrome rear bumper as well yeah pretty cool uh, some more uh, scratches on the side of the casting that's unfortunate uh, but there we go there is the Autobot logo on the front there that's super cool though even though it's got a little bit of damage on the side in the the casting itself I'm still quite happy to have one of these out of the packaging. Uh, I do still have the one that I traded for in its original packaging, so uh, I won't be opening that one. Um, oh, are we? Uh, oh, okay. We've got one more car to open, and that does it for all of the opening for today's episode. Um, wow, I've got a, I've got a bit of a, a pile of garbage on the floor next to me now from opening all of these cars. Uh, the last one we're going to open up is the Shelby Cobra 427SC. Supercharged, I believe that would say. Uh, this is part of the Hot Wheels Rolling Metal Series. As, and as you can see, this is in a really nice Zamac finish. 
Really cool. Uh, there's a card art for that there. Uh, but yeah, I found this one here. Um, was it like a week ago or something like that? And uh, yeah, just definitely had to get this one because I really, really wanted to open one. And uh, yeah, thought that was really, really cool. It's got nice light blue and dark blue striping over the bonnet and over the boot section there. Uh, has the uh, seat belts in there as well. Blue interior, little blue hoop on the top there. Uh, chrome Cool Classics wheels. Uh, it also has Cobra written in the side of that blue stripe. Uh, so let's go a little roundel just there. Chrome side exit exhaust. Uh, 427 just on the front there. Uh, no actual badge on the front, I thought it was, but it's just a, a little bit of a raised round section for where one would go. Uh, oh, it's got the intercooler inside the grill there. Uh, no headlight details, unfortunately. Same livery on the opposite side. And uh, no brake light details on the rear there either. But still, that is incredibly cool. That is very, very nice. And I still have my original ones from back in the 80s and 90s uh, of this casting as well. So this will be a nice little addition to those uh, couple of cars also. All right, well, we did well filling up the shelf there. <laughs> All right, last things that we got, uh, we found one of the new vintage racing club cars, uh, the last series, nobody was able to find the Camaro because uh, it didn't matter how many vintage boxes you were able to find, uh, there was no uh, Camaro in those packets, uh, those boxes, so it was a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but we do have the new range, and this is the custom Ford Maverick. Really, really nice, uh, black with the red racing stripe along the side there. Headlight details are nicely done also. Number 11 with more racing stripes over the bonnet there. And then we also get the rear details on the back there with the brake lights and badging painted up nicely also. Uh, very, very cool. And there's a uh, plastic base on this one. Yeah, really, really impressive looking set. Um, one of the other cars that I traded for was also the custom Datsun 240Z. I thought I pulled that. I, I don't know what I've done with that. It'll be around somewhere, so possibly I'll find that for next week's episode. Uh, but yeah, these ones here I'll also be on the hunt for as well. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find all of this set and not be left with one single car uh, just never being added into the boxes by Mattel. Uh, but yeah. Um, got one of these custom Volkswagen Beetles. I don't know if I actually... I'm pretty sure that this is a second one that I've bought. I can't quite recall. I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments to let me know. Uh, did we buy one of these last week or the week before or whatever it was? Can't quite recall. Um, until, we, until I remember, uh, I'm just not gonna open it. Uh, but yeah, the custom Volkswagen Beetle from the Ultra Hot series. Beautiful, beautiful Spectra Flame pink paint. Like the Ultra Hot wheels on there in chrome. And that lightning bolt or energy bolt or whatever is really cool as well. It's got that silver stripe down the center of the bonnet with the Volkswagen logo in the center there. And uh, no light details on the back there, but just what an incredibly cool, cool looking casting. Yeah, very, very cool. Um, haven't seen any more of these cars from this set except for the Volkswagen Beetle. Now it seems that the Volkswagen Beetle is the only one that people don't want. Uh, can't find any of these other ones at all now. They're sold out everywhere. Uh, but yeah, still find the v Volkswagen Beetle and also the previous range uh, of these as well from last year or whatever it was. I don't know, it was a while ago that they, uh, the last range of Ultra Hots were out. But yeah, you can still find half of the last range also. Um, the last two cars that we have for today are two more cars from the Porsche series. This one is the Porsche. 356 Speedster in white with a red stripe. Nice wheels with the chrome detailing. Very, very cool looking. Yeah, that red interior is awesome. Clear window, nice headlight details on the front there. Little Porsche badging on the front there looks to be in gold as well. And then around the back there, we get all of the light details, the Speedster on the license plate, uh, the vent over the engine and everything like that. It's beautifully, beautifully painted up. And this is also a metal body and metal base casting. So this is probably my best 
Porsche Speedster in my collection. It's just absolutely incredible, man. Just look at that. Yes, very, very, very happy to have that. And uh, yeah, uh, also I've got to show you guys, I only need to find, uh, that's the other one that I've got. I think it's only this one here that I need to find now uh, because we have, um, we've got an orange one. I think that the orange one's that one. I think we've got all three of those ones. I think we've got those two. Yeah, I believe it's only this one here I need to find now, the Porsche 914-6. Uh, so yeah, wish me luck finding that one. And here we go. We have the last one, the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4. Uh, once again, this is a metal body and metal base car. Really good weight to it. Nice wheel choice once again. A little bit of racing stickers there. Around the front there we get the lens headlights, a uh, little badge details, a uh, little vent, grill vent details there as well. Uh, wing on the back there and all of the rear light details and everything like that too. So yeah, this is an absolutely fantastic set. Uh, so yeah, just wish me luck to find the last car. Wow, very, very cool. Uh, the last few things that I have to show you today, um, I'm going to leave some for next week, uh, just because we've already gone over the 30 minute mark. Uh, so what I will show you is, uh, I'll show you this, and I'll show you this, and, I'll show you this and yeah and we'll leave the last few things off to the side because I've actually got something pretty cool over here <laughs> so we'll leave that till next week I'll give you a bit more of an idea yes we'll have a quick look at this next week so uh, yes that is the teaser for next week all right I'll be very very quick uh, I bought this for $30 so uh, you know that's gonna be cool uh, from my own personal opinion of cool at least. Uh, so yeah, 1960 Volkswagen Type 2 pickup, moon equipped. Super, super cool. Little tiny, tiny thing. I'll show you in comparison with the Beetle. <laughs> you see it's even smaller than the Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, yeah, just absolutely had to buy this. Even though it was really, really expensive for what it was, uh, I just really, really wanted it. So there we go. Absolutely love this version of this. And uh, I've actually been eyeing this off in the store for maybe seven or eight months now. I've been going, oh, I'd love to get that. I'd love to get that. And uh, yeah, never really uh, jumped on the chance. And then when I was in there last week, uh, I decided to pick it up. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll have to peel the sticker off at some point, but we'll get to that eventually. Uh, picked up this for $10. This is a little Siku. Uh, I'm gonna peel that off as well. Uh, yeah, it's just a little um, Dutch post. Pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to open this one here up. Uh, I'm gonna give this one here away to a friend and uh, I'm sure that he will appreciate that. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, yeah, don't know if you get many uh, Siku things over in the US. So um, yeah, when I saw this for $10, I was like, yep, I'm gonna grab that. A little bit of damage and such on it, but other than that, yeah, pretty cool. Um, last two items that we have today are a couple of new five packs. This one here is so cool. Look at the van that you get. How awesome is that? There we go, get some focus going on there. Can't quite get a good focus, uh, but anyway, this is the Skyjacker Suspensions 5-pack there, so absolutely awesome. There's the cars in the pack there, and I believe that this is possibly a 2025 uh, Matchbox 5-pack. So um, if anybody knows any more about this, please put in the comments below. Is this a 2025-pack, or is this just one of the last uh, 2024 5-packs to find? Uh, the other one that I found was actually really cool. Matchbox Farm Rigs. Look at this. You get tractors, you get a trailer, a little skid steer. Just, yeah. Just really, really was not expecting to find a little farm pack. I mean, look at the trailer. It's got a full hitch on there. It's got that going there. It's got mud all over it. Uh, so, yeah, we will be opening these up uh, this week, I believe. Uh, there's all the vehicles that are in this. Uh, most of them are Matchbox 
own brands except for one, the Monarch EV tractor. Uh, but yeah, thought that was really cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, oh, that also reminds me. I found a pile of, I think it was like 15 Matchbox 5 packs. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be a fair few old Matchbox 5 packs coming over the next week or two. Uh, yeah. Didn't realize I had that many that I hadn't recorded. That's what happens when you put things away and then just completely forget about them. Um, I do have a whole big pile of things to show you next week. As I said, I've got a little bit of a <coughs> sneak peek for you guys there of some things there. And I'll give you another little sneak peek as well. What else can we sneak peek you? Ooh, sneak peek you that. Uh, we'll maybe sneak peek you that. Uh, maybe we'll uh, sneak peek you that. Yes, I actually bought one. Uh, there we go. Had to buy that. Uh, so there you go, guys. Those are your sneak peeks for next week. Uh, we'll be opening up all of it, except for this carded car, obviously, because, well, that's a chase, so I won't be opening that particular car. Uh, but yes, all those other items that you saw, yes, we are actually going to open those. Uh, all right. There we go, guys. 300 episodes. Can't believe it. I will also remind you guys, there is still a 3,000 subscriber competition coming up. Uh, but as I said, I just need a little bit of time just to be able to organize stuff, be able to save enough money and well, allocate enough money, I should say, and uh, do all of that sort of stuff and find some, find some cool stuff to add into those uh, boxes as well. Uh, so yes, don't worry, that is still coming. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to say thank you once again to absolutely everybody. You've been absolutely amazing and I could not do this without you. So thank you very much. I wish you all the best of weeks and I'll see you all next time guys. Take care of yourselves, be excellent to, the, to each other and I'll see you all then. Thanks again guys. It means the absolute world to me. Bye.